as the Netball Girls, as the first team to be recognized by your school. You know, this is a once in a lifetime thing. I'm sure the girls have been looking forward to this since they were at under 14 level. And um, being presented to the crowd as well, walking with their little mascot as well in her Polchem clothing. Again, such a special moment for them to be presented by their friends, family, and also to be supported here by everyone. Teams, Pol girls on your right-hand side and Pol Chim on your left-hand side, the supporting them throughout. And the starting lineup for Pol Chim will be Fana Marva and Abramsa on that goal shooter and goal attack position, with Hartland and Cockrell on center and wing attack, with Fosloe and Kriege on wing defense and goal defense. Kriege also the captain for this side, and then Boetis on that goalkeeper position with Kronje, Martin and Otto as their substitutions or impact players we more like to call them. Here is the lineup for Paul Girls as I mentioned with Fisser, De Kok and Galdenais as those substitutions for the side. This is going to be exciting, it's going to be phenomenal, it's going to be tough but it's a game you do not want to miss. With a quick little feed from Cockrell to Hotland on that centre pass, good drive down the middle, you can just hear the crowd already. Good patient play by Kemp, or rather Abramsa for Paul Chim. Clever little feet to Van Merwe. And Paul Chim open this game with a 1-0 score. He's really looking for options, drives into the pocket and pops it to Van Merwe. Great take from Van Merwe and she'll slot it in quite comfortably. And you can just but she feels set and the score is 2-1 a turnover center pass for Paul Girls. Paul Girls. Oh, Milan home at home alone at home. Great shot from her. Paul Girls just needed a couple of minutes to get into it. We don't know if you can hear this crowd but it is intense. It is definitely a call for contact there. Oh, oh. great drive from Kim. <laughs> We've both just an awe. <laughs> Kemp and Milan just working so well in that circle. Still the first quarter, mm. she can go about her business in the circle. Yeah. Her team is more than capable of bringing mm. the ball down to her. It's that patience call. You need to know when to and when not to. But Polchem make it count and it's six goals to four with in this first quarter between Polchem and Paul Goals. On her tiptoes is Hartland. Abrams are getting the shot and she makes it count. Level at the end of the first quarter. And that is how we finish the first quarter for the Premier Nepal Interschools between Paul Chim and Paul Girls under 18. It's your team right now. I would just say you got to pick it up, you know. You're going mm. into the second half of this game. Mm. You're going into the championship quarter. Yeah. And you really need to apply pressure yeah. going into the rest of the game. Yeah. You know, it's not over. It's just one turnover and then converting your centre pass. And then Paul Girls is back in the game. So really excited to see what both teams have to offer going into the second half. Stay tuned for more exciting netball. Really showing their patience here. Mm. New goal attack. Or two. And she makes it count. Loving that. Yo, you can see the centre, um, Cockerell just calling for that ball from the new uh, wing defence, um, Martin. And Van Merwe makes that turnover count for her team. 15 goals to 12. And Swan oh. getting a tip on it, but Van Merwe ever so effortlessly underneath that post takes it strongly and makes it count for her team. Six the space easy. Oh, Kemp working hard on that baseline dodge. Such a beautiful shot from her. Loving this work from Kemp. 17 goals to 16. Yeah. Just four and a half minutes left in this third quarter. This game and Kim also still in it. Oh, that pop over between Otto and Van der so clinical. And she will make a count underneath that post. It's a pass here for Paul Girls. Milan with the shot, and she sinks it in for her team. Ten seconds or so left. 
and Milan getting that ball. But a good rebound for Bolchem, unfortunate on that, but a quick turnaround. And Milan has time, and it is a goal. And that will count for Milan. The it's sounds the sounds are deafening. It is 22 goals to 20, but that's only the end of the third quarter, people. We still have 10 more minutes left. And that's the one I was talking about, turning to post to put your defense back. Good split from Milan, good patience from Paul Goals, and they'll make it count. Paul Goals here, patience around the circle once again. With Abrams on, wing attack finds Fanamad underneath that post. And Mainz again just on that jump. But Fanamad will make it count for her team. Finning at Paul Gymnasium today. Brilliant feed for Fanamad. And the score is 27 goals to 23 with a Paul goal center pass. Now, Yokai, you know. But these girls have been playing together for a whole year and this is what it comes down to great work from Kemp great work from Otto she's really done well since she's come on confident in her shots comfortable in her shots staying patient on that circle's edge and it's that characteristic base drive split around for Kemp and she'll make it count for her team deep breath there from her <laughs> she's oh. on Otto in the circle, offloads to Fanamarva. And she makes it count. Paul. They've worked absolutely hard in this game. And they deserve this win, but Dharma is not quite finding Kim. Last couple of seconds. And that is how it's ending. Paul Girls High come up with the win. 30 goals to 26. Down by two in the second quarter, but coming up with that four goal victory, retaining their victorious play over Polchem. It is a beautiful game between Paul Girls and Polchem.